In Crusader Kings 3, you play as John Crusaders. You try your best not to get murdered by your own son before you've secured his succession. In fact, you'll spend most of your time either waiting to research a more stable succession type or reconquering land your siblings inherited because of an archaic legal system known as sharing. But the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay is extremely varied, with the player able to manage bureaucracy like an office manager if they wield absolute power over life and death, all based entirely on bloodlines. You'll spend hours breeding your characters like some kind of eugenicist to create the chadliest ubermensch possible, while inventing your own religion to make polygamy not just acceptable, but optimal. As with every paradox game since City Skylines, Warfare remains their last development priority. I know these are meant to be visual novels by way of an Excel spreadsheet, but giving us the ability to make tactical decisions outside of flavor text would go a long way towards increasing engagement. But the real gameplay loop is political and family intrigue, and while you can create stories of power plays and salacious scandals, more likely the game will trip over itself and your spy master will get caught trying to kill you by himself. I still recommend Crusader Kings 3. Despite all its shortcomings, it appeals to some baser aspect of human nature. That's the only explanation I can think of for every Crusader Kings YouTuber's most popular video having the word incest in the title.